um, benefits of pursuing the IB diploma, but one of the main reasons I decided to pursue it is because it really does create a well-rounded student. So not only does it get you some credits in college and um, it looks good on your transcript, but it really just does um, provoke a different way of thinking and it just changes people's perspective on education. Uh, well, most people, when they choose their classes, they usually go for the college credit, but I wanted the college preparation because I knew all the extensive work that IB forces you to do and how it's also the most rigorous option that Long Beach High School offers. I like the fact that the IB diploma had like structure, like it helped um, with the classes. Like I knew, okay, I had to take this certain class junior year, this class senior year. Um, it really helped me also prepare, like it was college level classes, so I was like, okay, I know what I'm going in for when I get to college. So I know more or less like the work and the workload. They just kind of pitched it to us and I was kind of worried at first that maybe it's just for like, you know, the elite smart kids or something like that, which it, it's not, it's not at all. Um, I was, I was really relieved about, you know, once I was in it. Um, it's, you know, I feel like a lot of people can uh, go into that program fit in and, uh, you know, I was just looking for a challenge. So I thought it would set me apart from the rest and it would help me get into the university of my dreams. I was more of a math and science guy, so I would take, I took the harder math class and I took some of the harder science classes just to explore those interests further. Well, I really loved history and I loved writing, uh, so I felt like there are people who love math and love science, so they take the harder math and science classes. I felt that I wanted to take the harder history of writing classes, and I know it's kind of weird to say, oh, I love writing papers, but I felt that writing my, um, my, Hoda, my Hoda Year 2 paper, IA, was really fun and very interesting, honestly. Since I love art, you know, I was able to take IB Visual Arts, and that was definitely a great class. I learned you know, a lot about just you know, organizing myself as an artist. I went into college, we had our first writing assignment, and it was a piece of cake. Um, at the extent I say it's close to 25 pages, um, maybe more, maybe a little less. And I remember the first week of school, Writing 102, we had a four-page essay. Everyone was freaking out. Um, it definitely wasn't that hard, considering I had come from a high school program that had me writing essays all the time. So my honor seminar actually wanted me to write a 40-page paper, and because I had previous experience of the extended essay, I knew that it was going to be kind of a struggle because it is a 40 page paper but because I already had experience doing primary research and secondary research and doing it in such like a big amount of work it really helped me get it and I aced it. With the extended essay you got a lot of help from teachers and there's a lot of resources and they teach you how to do it the right way. For my major in school I don't write too many papers uh, but I did have a writing requirement freshman year where I had to write an eight page paper so similar to the extended essay there was a lot of research that went into it and having done that before um, it was really less troubling and less worrying. Oh, the extended essay taught me how to write a really long paper, so now when someone says 10 pages, that's, I don't care. If someone says 4 pages, oh, it takes me 5 minutes. And um, it also taught me how to research correctly and find the right sources. You know, like, when I go to college now, like, I had a final paper due um, last week, and it was 10 pages. Like, people in my class were like, literally crying, so they, like, okay, you're a teacher. And I'm like, oh, that's easy, like, that's no problem. Opportunities are really a plenty for community service and getting involved at college. Um, so doing CAS in high school, it was, it was good to continue that in college. Um, next summer I'm going to Africa to volunteer, for example, so there's a lot of stuff like that where it's good to get involved. And then CAS was, it was a good opportunity to get involved. Uh, it helped out with college applications like your resume and stuff. And it was also just, it's a good experience to prepare you to get involved further in college. When I got to college, like I'm usually, I was always involved in high school, so when I got to college, I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't, like the first week I was like, I don't like this. I was like, I need to get involved in something, like some club, something. So that really helped me um, prepare. Um, one of the cast projects that I did was that I went to the MLK Center and we like helped kids with homework and then we did like a holiday craft. So we'd go like twice a year. So that was just, it was, it gave me the opportunity to actually interact with children and it just helped me realize even more that that's what I want to do. TOK, it taught me that how everything relates to one another and it gave me a new outlook on all of my studies and even taught me some things that became, became useful in my classes in college now. Um, and then TOK really taught me how to think in a different way. 
um, and taught me critical thinking skills that um, in most universities now that is something that is very significant. So not only did I have the knowledge, but I had my problem solving skills. It helps you um, just think outside of the box, like different aspects of the world, and you can focus on one thing and then see how it's connected to many different other things, like many different things, and how the world's so interconnected. I think mainly the workload was really taxing and um, as a high school student I love to procrastinate, I'm not going to lie, I think everybody procrastinates here and there, um, but that was definitely one of the biggest obstacles was just I had so much work and I didn't always have time because I was balancing so many different activities but you have to find time. The, op the only obstacle I really faced was I feel like anyone, everyone does this, procrastination. Like um, obviously you want to procrastinate your work to the last minute which you then I regretted throughout my two years but um, that's really all. It's just stay focused. Um, kind of set out your work um, according to okay I have this do, maybe I should do this first then I'll do that. Kind of like all doing it and it all comes together so you don't stay up to like two o'clock in the morning doing a paper. So that's what I would suggest doing, um, just stay on top of things and you'll be fine. And you're going to be very tired, you're going to be staying up nights doing the work, but college is the same thing. You're going to do it for four more years and then it's over. So just push through the work and um, also just know that you have to relax sometimes because in college you have, you're going to have to take your breaks. Don't put everything on, onto your plate, take it in strides. I think just the most important thing, like maybe advice for someone coming into Ivy Diploma is just make sure you manage your time because you are doing so much work and if you're not going to do it well, then what's the point? Uh, in general, I would say just try to take everything as it comes, uh, try to build good time management skills and also just a, a, a passion now for learning. Um, I know my school, like, uh, like many others and like the Ivy program, there's a lot of requirements that you have to take. Um, certain classes even if that's not particularly what you're interested in um, so learning to find an angle on why you want to you know take those classes and learn about those things is, is a really good skill to develop